50 feet of swell In the dawn's first light Kelly Sterling glared Carving waves so tight New Year's 2024 The ocean is alive Soft toppers beware They're gonna thrive Don't let the waves go by Kelly I could have been in the tube with you But I'm now laying here crying don't you touch me there. No, stop. You could. <laughs> hey, how's it? You know the rules. Dude, so you got you scored on Christmas, huh? Got some surf? Dude, the waves are insane. How big were they? They are probably like 20 feet. Florida? Florida. I mean, it's breaking way past the pier. Was it just a storm? What that's the like one of the longest piers in the world. Is it really? That's what it, the sign said. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the sign said. So I was out on Christmas Day, jolly belly full of joy. Yeah. <laughs> a jolly belly full of joy. And I was so far out and I was riding my 9 6. Wow. And uh, dude, it was so quiet. It was like, the board was quiet? Being so far out. Oh. <laughs> it's so quiet. And then there's people just standing on the pier looking down at me like, I wouldn't like that. Like, just people watching like that. Hey, quit watching. <laughs> it's pretty fun. It makes it feel like a like an event, like a stadium vibe. Hmm. But no one knows anything about serving, so no one cares. Yeah, they're so they're just like obese tourists <laughs> scratching. Like, I'll do like I'll get the craziest. I'm like whoa, whoa, and then I look up and they're just staring at me like it's like <laughs> obese tourists. <laughs> so obese people itch a lot. <laughs> They're scratching the stuff. crevices. The folds. We know. We know the rules. Yeah, we know. I scratch all the time. <laughs> Christmas is over. Let's get 2024 going. Come on. <sighs> Christmas. This is the first year I was sick at Christmas because mm -hmm. I was sick the whole month of December, guys. You can probably hear it in my voice. <laughs> Do you think we'll survive this year? What's going to happen this year? What's going to kill us? I think that's over. Dying's over. <laughs> 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 like all the weird stuff's gone. Now it's just Epstein lists. Epstein's list just came out. <laughs> what blew everyone's mind is like the wheelchair guy was the main one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, how oh, they get him down there? What's his name? Like on the beach. Da -da 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 -da. Stephen Hawkins. Stephen Hawkins. But that makes sense. They I mean, can put. They, so bored. But they could put him anywhere. He could have not even wanted to get on the plane. Well, think about it. They could, he'd be like, I don't want to go. And they. Is that what he does? <laughs> he has like a computer that he types in it. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Can you send me to Epstein? <laughs> <laughs> I love the new year. You love 2024? I love new year because Christmas is finally over. <laughs> I like it because you feel like it's new. But one thing about new year's, it never goes the way you want it. Right. So you that's one thing that I've learned. Yeah. You have to expect. The Bad stuff will happen immediately. <laughs> right. Yeah, I remember when COVID that year ended, everyone was like, it's 2021, we're good. But it was terrible still. It's more of a mindset. Yeah, it's like a restart. But nothing's going to change really. Like you're still going to go through the same hardships. Yeah. But what if you feel better, mm -hmm. it's easier. Right. Your mindset. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is deep. Could you ever be a life coach? What do those people do? If I fully got my life in order... That's true. You gotta look. But I think I'd be good. At it. Good life coach. What do they do all day? I like. I got the voice. So they like get a client and they what? It's like, a scam. It's a pyramid <laughs> scheme, obviously. But what do they do all day? Well, the gurus in general. It's like hmm. they sit there in like white linens. Yeah. And they just talk all day and like find your inner child. What's crazy is people will just like do anything for them and like give up their whole lives like they set up cult rooms and people come in <laughs> pay 299 dollars. the new instagram life coach they're all full of bull crap oh. <laughs> they're full of bull crap like some of the guys i watch talking like this one guy he has like he's talking about relationships mm -hmm. and he's got like a full sleeve tattoo and he's got the sh he looks like a youth pastor right goatee yeah, he's got the goatee with like a little gray on the sides. Yeah. And like, so you trust him a little bit. Well, his his sharp features is what gives it away for me. <laughs> like he's fake. Right. But they just talk to the, he's pretending he's in like a Joe Rogan studio. But he's in his. But he's filming it himself. Right. It's like. Fake applause. So messy. <laughs> yeah, life coaches, dude. I can't wait for them to phase out. 
Well, how do you like know you're ready to be a life coach? <laughs> like, I feel like you got to do something first. You got to be in your 70s and have a good life. Like, do you need a, like a PhD in psychology? Probably. That would probably help. Yeah. I mean, I look at these guys in their 30s and talk, telling me how to live my life. I'm like, you <laughs> don't know anything. Just because you're wearing tight khakis <laughs> and the freaking, like, you cut your hair short yeah, and you can... doesn't mean. So what is your, do you have a New Year's resolution? Nope. I am the resolution. You're the resolution? <laughs> that sounds like your wrestler name. The resolution. The resolution. <laughs> Hey there, thrill seekers and wave chasers. This segment is brought to you by our awesome sponsor, Esteem, the ultimate destination for radical surfwear. So follow them on Instagram at Esteem Surf Co. and get some radical surfwear at esteemsurf.com. Dude, <gasps> Kelly what? is the Antichrist. That's how much Kelly weighs? 666? Six, six, six. He weighs 1666. Six, six. There's a little puby. <gasps> oh! <laughs> Kelly has pubes? I didn't know he had pubes. <laughs> He must have just trimmed them before <laughs> we. <laughs> it's What's a 1% feeling that the whole world hasn't tra- tapped into yet. It's surfing. A 1% feeling? What does that mean? Eddie, what's his name? Eric Geisman. Oh, Eric <laughs> Geisman. Eddie. So he's foiling and, he's, and he goes, It's a 1% feeling that the whole world hasn't tapped into yet. Hmm. I mean, are you going to get back on the horse and start foiling again? <laughs> Where is that thing? I've got it ready. Did you pawn it off yet? Dude, Thor can shred. Really? Dude, check him out. This is Chris Hemsworth, right? Is that you say it? everything. Look at him. Mm. Oh. Look at those thighs. They're huge. Look at that smile. <laughs> <laughs> Thor. Thor. <laughs> Silly. <laughs> nice. He actually shreds. Dude, I love it. If he got rid of those muscles, he'd probably be damn good. <laughs> Dude, it's hard surfing with muscles. Really? Yeah. Look at this. <laughs> you think when he surfs, he kind of thinks like, <laughs> he's kind of like, I don't even want to do movies anymore. Because oh, surfing's so fulfilling. So much better. But he has to do the movies to be able to surf. To surf these expensive wave pools. <laughs> so Chris Hemsworth is a ripper. He shreds. <laughs> I mean, everything looks normal. What? What? Is that a thing? I've never seen that before. Hang hands? He hey. hung ten with his hands. Dang. And then donkey kicked out the back. Here he goes again. Yeah. He did the taint powers. Oh, uh, that's why. Now he's going on tour. Look at this dude. Malfunctioned. Oh no. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> How does he get the tube back? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, what is this? Is this P. Diddy and Paul Fisher? So do they get so into their muscles they don't care how dumb they look? What is going on? Is he trying to focus up on his higher thighs muscles? Uh, I need you. Uh, <laughs> help. Uh, uh, thank you. Oh, good night. Whoa, this is one of my competitors. Over he, saw my, uh, Over <laughs> he saw my boogie board chair. Oh, yeah. Dude, he's freaking shredding. Over there. He's doing Kai Lenny moves. <laughs> this is how Kai Lenny kind of figured it out. Really? Office chair training? Like Maui, like, yeah, they have the best ways in the world, but he couldn't actually learn how to surf until he did the chair 9,000. Really? Yeah. And then you set it on tile, makes it harder. Yeah, so it's like surfing out over reef. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, you stupid piece of <laughs> crap. You mother, mother trucker. You piece of crap. You stupid wow this is oh my gosh they're teaching him like the way the wave punches yeah. you <laughs> how did they think of that i mean <clears throat> two nipple <throat> balls <throat> oh boy <laughs> <laughs> dun, dun, dun. This, what, what's this kid thinking he's a surf assassin he's like throw me the ball it's all good no he's like love you bro love you the nothing t- could go wrong Tally ho! Dude, yeah. Jeez, that's an ankle. That's a <laughs> brain, dude. That's a brain injury and an ankle. Gone. Ooh. All right. <laughs> Take me to the nearest chicken filet. I'm just joking. <laughs> All right. Let's really, let's go. Right, right. Ah! <laughs> oh, oh, man. 
<laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm all right. Look at these pandas, dude. Ooh, There's what's up, dude? <laughs> dead. Yeah. Pandas. So pandas are klutzy. I'm all good. No worries. I'm just gonna take this. <laughs> Gosh. Oh, whoa. It looks fake. Ow! (laughs) Gosh, who knew pandas were so klutzy? Look at this legend. Dude, he's killing it. Dude, he kind of freaking shreds. Like, that's a lot of rail in the water. Is that good? Rail, deep rail? Yeah. Dude, this guy. Look at him. He's got really good style. He serves like Taj Burrow. And every day the waves are big. Dude, every day is overhead. <laughs> and I didn't think about that. You did? Being a little person is a van of surfing. Surfing, flying, legroom. Oh. You know what I'm saying? I have never thought about that. Every day. Yeah. If it's waist high, it's head high. Yeah. In Hawaii, it's like jaws. <laughs> <laughs> what? How are they just sitting there? <laughs> the camera. The crappy snapshot. <laughs> Come on! Oh my God! These are inlanders. This is what happens when you're not near an ocean. <laughs> ah! <laughs> We're so bored. <laughs> Look at helicopters chasing it too. <laughs> ah! <laughs> so if there's no water, people do this stuff. What the Whoa. fart? Oh my God! How many lips does it? <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever wiped out that bad? Yeah, it's not. I realize now why I have so much brain issues. Yeah, that. Dude. Dude. I don't understand why servers don't understand why they all kind of talk like this. <laughs> yeah, it's not a style. It's because you're all brain. I know. <laughs> I've been saying this. So, okay. So, surfers don't have a lingo. Their brains are messed yes. up. Yes. Oh. And we just suck slow because our head hurts and we don't realize it. <laughs> yeah, because every, everybody imitates surfers like, what's up, dude? Like chill. But really, you guys have just, TBIs. Yeah. Dude, this guy is definitely talking slower after this wave. Oh, he's walking backwards. <laughs> walking backwards. <laughs> Dude, this is sick. So this is like some girls skateboarding club in Africa. And it's so, oh my God. the town. Dude, I want friends like this. The whole city. When I first did a kickflip, my dad just looked at me and scratched his nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Look how pumped they are. The whole town is applauding her. Dude, you don't need much in life. If you have people that care about you, yep. you, you just do a kickflip. And everyone's like, oh my God. <laughs> Tracy. Every day is like winning the NBA title. Right. Like we could all be winning if we wanted to. If everyone was nicer to us. Just cared about each other. We need to care, guys. <laughs> Imagine all the, the people. people. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. Ha! <laughs> You know what I'm about to say, Inlander. <laughs> <laughs> See if he had an ocean. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> come on, pony boy. Oh, yeah. I feel like this is what would happen to you if Laird ever got you to his house. <laughs> this is live footage of Laird training me. <laughs> Dude, remember when I said we've done everything? Humans have done everything. We're thriving. You think Laird has any New Year's resolutions? Laird Hamilton? <laughs> what hasn't he checked off the list? I know. Does this ever mm-hmm. happen? Dude, that was sick. Oh! Dude, so that's a bad duck dive? <laughs> oh. Tink. <laughs> Gosh. Cook. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> Dang! Dude, he uses some Look good that face. He uses some good conditioner. Look at that face. Oh, man, on that he face. looks so sad after doing it. He's like half my life. I'm on a scooter. I'm on a scooter. <laughs> oh my god! What are these called, dude? What? <laughs> That's so crazy. It's cool. <laughs> they, yeah. They're like endless skates or some endless skates. Any shoe be- can b- become a rollerblade. I mean, oh, we almost pulled it. That's pretty cool. Looks ankly, breakly. Da, 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 da. <laughs> this is what happens when you cut Kalani off. Yeah. Kalani, no. Yeah. Do, 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 do. I'm alive. Move it or lose it. Whoa. Oh my God. That's cute. They're one. Are what they a, mating? 
think so. Is this water mating? Who's body surfing and who's body boarding in that video? Because somebody's it's like on, the chicken and the egg. Yeah, who first. who body boarded first? What is this? Oh my god, this is real, dude. Drops down horse. Ooh. They're like, you did it! I did it! <laughs> what is that? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh, dude. What? what? It's ice skating, dude. I want to try I that. Never thought about this. That looks fun. That looks fun. Dude, chop hop. Where's Kyle Lenny? Yeah, there's a lot of potential for this. A lot of potential for this. <laughs> Dude, is he strapped in? It's like foil. <laughs> Selfie with Tsunami. <laughs> hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to hang out with a tsunami. So here it comes. <laughs> here it is. No biggie. <laughs> no, this is fun. <laughs> 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 no, no, it's really, <laughs> Dude, it's really she... great. <laughs> She could I'm die. getting it. <laughs> uh, I'm dying. Dude, people Somebody will do go. anything for the shot. Dude. Boink. <laughs> Holy. Jordy's stink. Jordy's got a dog. How did it hit like that? Look at the launch. Yeah. <laughs> Is that See, edited? lifted it up? I think it's edited. I don't know. Does Does slow it down. buns. And... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 That's hilarious. Someone took <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Someone took time to do that. Can you hit a home run with your butt? Like what would happen? Would they count it? I don't think so. Whoa. Holy. He has laid his balls on that. Look at him in the barrel the whole wave. How, where is he? Dang. Dude, that was sick. <laughs> he's that looks on dry reef too. So what do you mean he dropped late? He dropped into the barrel. That's really oh. hard. He dropped out, dropped in under the lip and stayed on the foam ball the whole way. Dang. Have you ever done that? Yeah, but not that long. That deep in the pipe. What is that phrase people say? Green room or something? <laughs> what is that? Yeah. What do they call? Why is it called the green room? Think about it. You're in a green wave. That's what it's, that's it? Shacked in the green room. It doesn't have anything to do with like weed. <laughs> I don't know. <gasps> what? Whoa. And that lady missed the shot. The stupid With chick. With stupid ribbon on her head. That's pretty sketch balls because his fins could have scraped his head. Damn. He just snuck under. Dude, when I'm a kid trying to get photos, I can't tell you how many times I did like the best thing I've ever done. And you look in and the cameraman's like. Hmm? Yeah, just talking to somebody. Not you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think I've missed once or, one or twice, once or twice. Filming's hard. Kai. There you go, Kai. Anyone else be like, holy crap. He's doing flips. Side flips. Side flips on a 20,000 <laughs> foot wave. <laughs> That's crazy. What is he running from? What's wrong with him? <laughs> is he depressed? Look at this. A side flip. Yeah. That is crazy. Look how big that wave is. And he just did a side flip. Does Laird look at this and go like, mm -hmm. <laughs> I've never got to do the side flip. Zoom in on my face. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I'm coming home, babe. <laughs> Flames? This is how youth pastors enter the. Dude, this is how youth pastors enter the church. <laughs> yeah, yeah. First Thessalonians. <laughs> Yee hee. First Thessalonians. <laughs> Thessalonians. First New Thessalonians. New First Thessalonians. This is an insane clip of airs. Who is that? I don't know. Luke Mahomes? Luke Mahomes. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's flipping out. God. Flipping here and flipping there. What's that called? Two kids these days. I think it's just like double grab front flips. Sheesh. Shifty flips, side flips, sidewinders, side scrapes, side sketches. Backside swipers. Like this is crazy and like we don't even know this kid's name. Yeah. No one cares about surfing. Wow, wow. There should be a foil on your board. I'm getting nauseous. <laughs> what the? Come on, Sparky. This is Longboard Larry. He took his dog out, Brutus. He's hanging 10. This looks sick. I still don't understand why you don't want dogs to serve. Look I don't. How much fun he's having. Yeah, but he could be he's doing better. What? Chasing rats on the street? <laughs> he's freaking hanging 10 in Santa Cruz. Dude, look at all these people. <laughs> 
Would that annoy you though if you like wanted to surf and you saw some guy riding a yeah. dog? I would love it. I would be like, I want to surf. Everyone's welcome. That dog gets more waves than I do. That dog gets more tail than I have ever. <laughs> what is the point of this? <gasps> this is Shroft. Look at this freaking Shroft board. What's a Shroft board? It's, his name's Shroft. Who shapes these? What does it do? It's just art. I think it's a functional art piece. Oh, it's not like a, you can really surf it. It's a weapon. <laughs> I wonder how it rides. I'd love to see it ride. It, it Shroff, would, send us one. We'll ride it. How does it turn? I mean, it's got all those double bumps. I, it could ride good. Dude, do you know about Peter Shroff? No, I never don't know nothing. He was a famous artist in the 80s. And he did like all the designs for like Quicksilver, like all the surf industry. And he's kind of this mad scientist. Like he's totally over the top, like, crazy guy but yeah. his art like really took off in surfing like all the companies were using him and stuff and then he started shaping his own boards shroft boards they were like super trendy and popular and it's kind of an underground thing now he's a lot older and kind of senile <laughs> Ooh. he's been going around with a chainsaw to surf shops and he'll buy a fire wire and he'll chainsaw it in half in the parking lot and people come and watch him do it why? And he goes around the country doing this. Just at he's every a, surf shop. He's like the Gallagher of surf comedians. <laughs> he's protesting a, a surfboard's not made in America. Really? Yeah. So that's cool. He's not senile. It's pretty bad, eh? But it's a little... A little like, a little crazy. A little crazy. <laughs> <laughs> this guy's butt foiling at Tihe Hopu? What the frick? This kid's crazy. I can't even stand on one. Yeah. He's sitting in the barrel on a 20-footer. Why is he sitting on it? I think he's just being a bad A. Just showing that he can. <laughs> Dude. Is this Kelly? He's got, oh, I it, knew it. He's got new stuff. Dude, every time a Kelly video starts, it's this real mellow, dramatic, like, yeah. and then close up of his face. It's just a sandal. <laughs> I bet Kelly gets goosebumps when he watches it. <laughs> <laughs> On his head. <laughs> He's like, holy crap, this is going to change the game. I would like a pair. Kelly, can you send come us a on, pair? Kelly. We need Kelly sandals. Kelly, come on to the podcast and stop <laughs> ignoring okay. us. This freaks me out, dude. Girl reacts to Billie Eilish. Look at her. This is disgusting. She gets a pair of shoes and she's acting like this is how this I would. a shoe. This is how I would be if I got some Kelly sandals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She's opening up moon shoes. Kelly's new moon shoes. <laughs> She's like, oh my God. Are these the new Kelly moon shoes? Oh my God. I can't believe it. They're advertising so good. I'm going to throw up. I'm going to throw up. I'm going to surf so good later. Oh my God. Oh my God. It came with a freaking rash guard. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, with a freaking rash guard. Gucci, bro. <gasps> Napoleon Dynamite <laughs> got a new board. Gucci? Gucci. He's got a purse for a skateboard. <laughs> this guy must be good because anyone else would get beat up. Right. A purse skateboard? You'd be totally beat up. <gasps> it's chrome. It looks so teeny. Gucci grip tape. These shreds. <gasps> He's got a oh, Gucci butt. And we're ready to get beat up. <laughs> <laughs> oh. What? Dun, is dun, this dun, dun, dun. Dude. This kid's shredding. <laughs> that looks so like he's uh, freaking side surfing. Tapeworm central. Tapeworm surfing. <laughs> he's riding a tapeworm. <laughs> <laughs> this is pink eye central. Oh, dude. Wow. <laughs> dude. I'm gonna blaze my own path. Pow! <laughs> Double piece. What do you call this? Skate dancing? Virgin skating? <laughs> <laughs> this is all virgin skateboard. <laughs> virgin. Double V. Oh, yeah. VV. That means like extra virgin yep. on the side. Uh, the kooks are cooking. Oh, he's really getting into that turn. These are NPCs. Is that Raglan? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> this is Raglan Surf Report and freaking John Way Freeman. <laughs> Get ready to surf. <laughs> Whoa, is that a... That's Kai. Oh, he's always doing Dude, go it. back. Oh, six foot jump. Dude, that was huge. And then he pulls in some out. <laughs> Dude, Kai's freaking it. I want Kai to hang out with me. 
This is what happens when you get a soft top. Boosh! <laughs> Dude, that's what you should do. We, sh- <laughs> we should go around parking lots with blowers and <laughs> and blow people's soft tops away. Right. I like his little um, stools he brought out. These are surf stools? <laughs> surf stools. What is surf stools? Surf stools. We should patent it. So me and Edelo, we go seesawing in the park down the street. Yeah. And dude, it gets really intense. He stares into my eyes. Look. Uh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What is this? Oh, yeah. I'm like, Edelo, let's just seesaw like normal people. He's like, no, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <gasps> dolphin. That's a huge dolphin. <laughs> it looks like it's 15 feet long. Is it a dolphin or a porpoise? I don't know. Dude, it's... What? Gosh. This guy's tripping. That must have been so cool. Why are they so big? Dude, I was in the hospital once, and I was a kid. Yeah. And I walked into the next room by accident, and this guy was like all, like, had casts and everything. Yeah. Like old school style, like their hands yeah. his arms. And I was like... I accidentally walked in there. I'm like, oh, I'm so sorry. And he went, and he's like, oh, it's okay. And I was like, and I looked at him like scared. He's like, it's, it's okay. I, I got into a dolphin accident. I'm like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say anything. I'm like, huh? He's like, I was swimming and a dolphin flipped up and slapped right on me. <laughs> Broke my back. Shut up. And I was like, the kid, I was like, huh? And I just ran. No way. <laughs> a dolphin landed on him? On his back. Dude. What are the chances of me walking in a room, a guy telling me a dolphin jumped on his back? <laughs> he probably made up a new story for every <laughs> person who walked in. He really was like trying some new anal beads. Yeah. Uh, Dude, I had a good idea. What? Well, surfing's becoming like not important anymore. To you or to the world? To the masses. To the masses. Like if you are po- popular surfing, it's like you're like Kai Lenny, like you do extreme stuff. Right. But just surfing in general, like it's... It's not the cool factors kind of faded. Yeah. Okay. It's calming down. Okay. So I was like, dude, it'd be cool to start like a belt system belt. for surfing. A belt system? Like you know in karate they have black belts. Oh, like you get your yellow belt, your orange belt. Oh. So like Rob Machado, Jerry Lopez, Joel Tudor. Yeah. They're they're the, our first black belts. They're the black belts. But the black belt system would be more about form. Because anyone can be super athletic. Okay. But it's more about form and technique. Okay. Just like in karate. Right. Like if you're, anyone can kick as hard as they want. Mm. That doesn't make you a black belt. Okay. You know? Does that make sense? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So like, it's more about the form and technique. Oh. And so like, you know, like say if I was a black belt, it, like then people would have to come to me <laughs> <laughs> to to learn okay or i could bless them as a black belt if like they could you know there's some kind of system right so then (laughs) if if there was like a black belt surfer it would mean something and like they could have a job okay you know like and it would keep surfing um good like we won't lose you know styles and forms have been evolving since the 60s Right. You know, and it's important to keep, but we're losing it. Yeah. So like this would be a good way to keep it because it's like, oh, like if this kid wants to become a black belt, like, (laughs) you know, like anyone could be like, oh, I'm not going to become a black belt. I'm just going to do karate on my own and like go out in the field and like look how hard I'm hitting. and Yeah. Learning off YouTube. And I think like good surfers, we watch a lot of surfers now and we're like, yeah, like, you are athletic, but you're you actually don't know what you're doing. Yeah, the style, the form. Yeah, it's like not, nothing's right. Mm. And so I thought it would be pretty cool. I have the, I have an idea. It could be like you know how they wear the belt. It should be the leash color. <laughs> <laughs> so if he has a black leash, right. So you don't call it black belt. There's like, already like <laughs> seven million black <laughs> leashes. <laughs> yeah, but those would be now. Just... None of those. <laughs> so you would have to earn your black leash. It could be just something simple or, or like, like a li- black beanie. I like the leash idea. <laughs> Dude, he's got an orange leash and you'd put it on his board. It's a ceremony. Maybe it's like a sticker. A black sticker. Like mm. an official black. We'd have to call it something Yeah, else. something better. Our longboarders kind of looked down upon in like in some way by shortboarders. 
No. Is there beef between long borders and short borders? So here's what happened. What? When we posted last our last video about the guy doing the chop ops on the longboard. Dude, this is insane. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Who does Whoa. this? Whoa, he pulled it. <laughs> Joel Tudor was like, this is stupid. Yeah, this is the worst style in surfing <laughs> ever. I felt bad for that guy. Yeah. I see both sides. I feel like what he's doing is super rad. So my dad was a professional longboarder. Okay. And we yeah. actually used to travel with Joel. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, my dad was on Hobie. Yeah. He used to do these trips. I'd be with like Joel Tudor, Herbie Fletcher. Herbie? Christian Fletcher, Nathan Fletcher, all when they're like kids. Yeah. So like I remember them arguing because there was a movement in longboarding where they were doing shortboard tricks and mm. getting scored higher. Ah. And the, the fight was like longboarding's not about tricks. It's yeah. about like control you Grace. Know, walking the nose yeah it was it's so that like the late 90s and the early o's guys were winning contests doing like chop ups and, they get and joel was mad <laughs> <laughs> joel's like oh, i bet because he could do it if he wanted to i mean he's just like no like i'm not gonna start shortboarding my longboard yeah go shortboard like this isn't longboarding so the tour actually like s split off Ooh. And like, then there was just high fi longboarders. Mm. So then like all the like legit old school sh uh, longboarders like from Malibu and stuff, they yeah. just like didn't do anything. I remember going to like Cocoa Beach in the early O's or like late nineties and uh, Joel and them, like they'd, uh, they'd have the heaviest boards. <laughs> like 60 pound long boards and a giant back fin yeah. and they would all get stoned to the bone and they'd they'd walk down to the beach like just tired from holding it <laughs> <laughs> and all they would do is like nose ride that's yeah. it like no turns so there's two trains of thought like keep it graceful keep it styly don't do chop hops i feel like joel is you know important for longboarding because that's actually what longboarding is. That's what and he yeah. had to kind of fight for it. And that the tour has actually moved back. Like uh, the WSL, it's now traditional longboarding. They don't okay. they don't score the chop hops anymore. So if you did a hundred so choppy stops, yeah, they, but Phil Rasman, like he's a badass. <laughs> I know. I mean, like, come I, on. it's not just because he's not, you know, f following you know old school Joel Tudor stuff doesn't right. mean he's not insane. Right. Like he is. Yeah. But he's just like in his own, he has to understand he's just like an anomaly. Right. Like, like Kai Lenny. Yep. Like Kai Lenny's like, he's not a short boarder. He just yeah. started riding things in the middle of the ocean and like <laughs> opening his chest up. And like, <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> well, there's, there's a guy named William Spencer in skating and he does front flips downstairs and lands on skateboards. Oh, and really? it's crazy. Like he does these weird like slide slap, jumping off slack lines. And some skaters probably think he's a kook. Yeah, because it's not exact. Do, do a hard flip. But it's like, no, I love it. It's like his own world he's created. So I feel like, you know, Joel might be being a little mean. <laughs> I love that. Though. Like you said, ruffle it up. Well, I think I think Joel is right. Yeah. But that doesn't mean that guy's a coot. Right. Like that guy is a badass. He's just, he's like a badass, like unicycler. Yeah. Those guys that <laughs> <laughs> like. He's doing his thing, bro. Well. Look down we, on. We need everything in life yeah. to keep everything balanced and moving forward. Right. If everybody was chop hopping on longboard, you know what <laughs> Deaths would be <laughs> the whole death count is up. <laughs> chop Longboard up. chop hops. I remember in the early '90s there was this guy <laughs> who all he did was chop hops on the shortboard, mm -hmm. and do, do, do. and uh, it was super annoying because we everyone would surf in a lineup and it's like calm and like yeah. your turn, and then when he stood up, he just wanted to chop up so bad he would chop up right onto us every wave like. Ah! <laughs> and his board would be like, whoa, every freaking wave. Why is it? So when he would start coming at us, I would just swim under. <laughs> I would just start swimming. I'm like, he's going to try a chop up on me. Like there was no stopping him. The chop up. He was going to chop up onto you. I watched him chop up on my brother. Ooh. My brother got so mad. He's like, <laughs> he's like, stop chop hopping on me. <laughs> what is a chop up compared into skateboarding? It's a flat ground 180. Okay. So it's kind of just easy. 
Well, doing a 180 on the top of a ramp is a lot harder. Right. And functional. Yeah. It like it's like if someone learned a a 180 flat ground flat ground 180 and then like went <laughs> on a half pipe and did it on the bottom uh. and then went back up and did it on the bottom went back up like that's what this guy was doing on the flat <laughs> in the early 90s like airs were just taking off yeah so I think this guy he did a chop up and he's like <laughs> like oh my god. It felt good. <laughs> and he just stayed there instead yeah. of like, well, let me try to do it off the lip. Then get back in. He's like, let me just do it down here. So chop hops aren't looked down on. Just do them every once in a while for fun. Chop hops are rad, <laughs> but they're like garnish on, Ooh, a, uh, on a plate. On an entree. So if you like rip a wave, like do a big frontside hack and like a floater <laughs> and like a 360 carving 360. And then the wave's done. And chop the hop. coolest way to end it is you just do a big ass chop and you go, <laughs> <laughs> and then you land backwards and like kind of right out of it. Okay. Mason Ho does that a lot. I need to find some chop hop footage for those inlanders that don't know what we're talking about. <laughs> the people in Illinois. <laughs> like, what, is, what is he talking about? We're getting surfed. Hey, Lucy. <laughs> What's a chop hop? Google that. So is it ever okay to cut someone off? Is there ever a group of people that watch someone get cut off and like, ooh, that guy needed that or deserved it? Or that was okay. Is it ever okay to cut someone off? Yeah. Maybe if you're like top dog. So that's the only what, way? <sighs> like if someone didn't wait their turn. Yeah. And they like paddled around you and you still go. Okay. So if they paddle battled you, went around you and you cut them off, it's like, if he does it a, multiple times. Well, I was telling this to you before. A lot of guys sit, like they don't understand there's order right. to the lineup. So like I'm sitting on the peak and then they paddle past me. Right. And I've already been sitting here and then a wave comes and then they paddle back over and expect to take the wave. It's like, no, it's not your turn. Right. So I still go. And so then that, they're like, Sterling, cut me off. It's like, no, you, you don't know what's going on. Right. You disregarded the whole thing. So when I paddle back out, whoever's sitting on the peak, I don't sit past them. Right. I sit under them. It's like lining and up then, to go outside. Yeah. And the next person does the same thing. It, but it's all like only if you understand like surfing. Right. So it's kind of like if you're lined up to eat at a buffet and there's <laughs> the guys already at the chi yeah. the fried chicken. Yeah. They're about to dip into I'm the not, fried chicken. I'm not going past <laughs> them. I'm waiting my turn. But yes. if I jumped up and grabbed it, I cut them off. Right. I relate everything. <laughs> <laughs> so when I still go for the fried chicken, yeah, they're like, dude. <laughs> It's like, no, you don't understand the line. <laughs> but the problem is the ocean's so open. and Yeah, weird. So a lot of guys don't, they don't get it. Right. That, buffets aren't that way. <laughs> They're clear cut. <laughs> <laughs> it's really super simple. If you break it down into food, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it's like fried chicken. So, okay, you're in a buffet. I get it. A chop hop is like ice cream. <laughs> Dude, what is going on with Stanley cups? M tumblers, whatever Hockey. they're called. People are obsessed with them. Have you seen the videos of people like... <laughs> no, what's so going on? I was at a Christmas party the other day and somebody brought one of these Stanley cups and all the women were fighting over it. And like, <laughs> there's something in our culture and in our world and in our human brains that they, the media, the masses can trick us to be obsessed with anything. What's, is it special? It's a cup that's been around forever. <laughs> and women... back in style. Yes, but it's like... It's like... Uh, uh, it's freaking. like Beanie Babies. Like, remember those were like, <laughs> the right. the world can trick these women and men to think <laughs> and care about anything. And then they're all like, I want a Stanley Cup. Is it like, you know how everyone starts designing houses a certain way? Like modern, like. Yeah. There's like a word to it. It's like a new, like mid-century. Mid-century. Mid-century designs. Yeah. yeah. Women all of a sudden, they'd start. They all want mid-century. And Bree's like, what are Bree? <laughs> And I'm like, to my wife, I'm like, what's the mid-century? What does that mean? Why do you all keep saying that? <laughs> 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 no, when I was looking f uh, for a house yeah. many years ago, the realtor, I've never heard someone say mid-century with anything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I walk in, she's like, ooh, this is, this is mid-century <laughs> this, and this is mid-century that. And I'm like, yeah. I'm like, what's mid-century? I like late-century. And then, you know, the... Huh. the the women I was around, my yeah. mom and <laughs> yeah, the other one. They're like, <laughs> <laughs> they're like <gasps> mid-century. Like, how do they all want the same vibe? Like, 
Dude, all I'm telling them. you, I don't. I'm trying to say this in the most eloquent way, but people can get tricked into they caring about whatever they want the media wants you to care about. Why do we all want to look the same? <laughs> no, but these Stanley Cups, I'm, it just blows my mind. Like, what is going on? And people are completely hypnotized by it, and it makes me mad. Really? My I wife is like, that. that makes me not want to get one. She bought two. <laughs> It's just, it's just something about that pisses me off. Is there something in a surf competition? You know, like in basketball, oh, goaltending. Mm. Oh, you can't do this. Is there anything in a surf competition that's like, like you lose a point or you're DQ'd or disqualified? Yeah, if you cut them off. So if you cut someone off, you're done? You lose. So you get scored on your best two waves. Right. They take your second wave points away. And then you have to re-earn them? <laughs> no. How would you re-earn it? Do a second wave again. Doing sexual waves again. Do another second wave. No. You you don't get scored for your second wave. So you get one wave point. Dang. So basically your chances get <coughs> cut in half. Uh, so if you it, even if it's on accident or some confusion. Oh wow. How do you compare that to food somehow? Just kidding. <laughs> Kelly did a a really famous one where he tricked Shane Basham. Yeah the u.s open it was the finals what do he do and everyone was everyone was freaking out because everyone was like oh shane bash is like freaking ripping right now he was like, he was favored to win well like kelly is obviously the favorite yeah but bash was like on fire yeah so kelly like he's like i've got to stop him <laughs> so he tricked him okay what do he do well if you pull up the footage like so uh, Bashan was paddling for the wave. He had the right of wave, and Kelly was acting like he was going out. So Bashan was paddling, and Kelly <gasps> went, "Who is it?" and like snuck behind him. No way! And stood up, and Bashan didn't even know, and he just like <laughs> this sick air, I think, or something. And yeah, when Bashan left the water, they're like, "You got disqualified." He didn't even. He didn't even know he cut off. Kelly. He didn't know he cut Kelly off. So Kelly faked, like. So that. That was a huge ordeal, and Kelly got a bad rap, as and, he should. And he did Baywatch at the same. It was like the uh, same time. It's a double whammy. So when the Lost Surf movies came out, uh. they made fun of Kelly like so hardcore. <laughs> like they, hit, um, they had like a picture of Kelly's face, and they cut holes <laughs> and like put their tongue through it, and they started talking. I'm Kelly Slater. <laughs> So everyone kind of in the surf culture world was mad at him. That was kind of the beginning of like kind of Kelly hate. Kelly hate. <laughs> <laughs> so do you think if he if we could ask Kelly, does he regret doing that to the best? I think so. In their documentary, the Momentum Doctor documentary, yeah. um, literally like they have like fifty plus legends talking about how Kelly um, like cheats, dude. <laughs> and then they interview Kelly, and he's like, oh, I didn't do that. Yeah. I don't know what they're talking about. He's so competitive. Because the, 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 he tricked Rob yeah. with the high five. Oh. So all there's, you know, they're interviewing like Sonny Garcia and everyone. They're like, he tricked him. Like, we know Kelly. Kelly's done it to us. And, like, <laughs> <laughs> and then they interview Kelly. He's like, well, I don't know what you mean. Dude, the amount of competitive blood in that boy's body. But here's my thing to defend Kelly. Defend Kelly once and for all. Michael Jordan would uh, freaking yeah. bite people's nutsack. <laughs> no, he didn't. He would, would he thumb him? <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever seen people do that, dude, or hear about that? People would in down low when they're rebound the really. in basketball, dude. <laughs> there's guys at the rec that would do that. Really? Yeah. God. Thumbing them. I don't know if there's a name. <laughs> God, that sounds terrible. You know what I mean, though? Like, But Michael's worship. Yeah, I know. I feel like maybe it's just because surfing's not supposed to be a sport. Yeah. Dude, so do you think going to school was Worth it. at all needed? <laughs> I can't remember. I think elementary school. I mean, that's just to learn how to talk to people. And not, right. And learn how, yeah, write and learn words. Do you use anything from what you learned in school? Well, I learned to read and write, and I use that. Okay, what about, okay, let's shift it to high school. Anything that you learned in high school? No. Like, okay, you, do you remember diagramming sentences? Did you ever have to do that? I can't remember anything. You had to like diagram? I have a funny story. I once got suspended from a Christian school <laughs> for cheating on Bible verse quizzes. Oh my God. That's like straight ticket to hell. <sighs> yeah, but it's There's a There's nothing new, worse. It's a new year. <laughs> <laughs> cheating yep. in the Bible? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, everyone was doing it. 
Did you cheat in high school? It's okay. We're. Mm. It's been a long time. I don't think so. Really? Because you barely even went. <laughs> so, actually, I did cheat once. <laughs> What's funny is I never needed to cheat, really. What? Like, I was kind of good at school. So you were naturally kind of smart. I was good at uh, remembering stuff and Testing. putting it back. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Taking a test? <laughs> Remembering stuff and putting it back. Okay, that's a good way to say it. Yeah. <laughs> so this was, yeah, ninth grade. Okay. And uh, this was the computer class. Ooh. And uh, I was just being lazy. And there was this teacher called Mr. Grantham. Oh, Papa Don Grantham. Yeah. I know Papa Don. Mr. Grantham. Papa you talk did. like this. Now Sterling. <laughs> yeah. Miles Sterling. That's my wife's so he, yeah, so grandpa. He's, he, he's like Stop. part of your family. Yeah. Of your other side of your your wife's family. Yeah. <laughs> so he knows my dad and everything. And so I, I was super lazy and um he gave us this surprise test. What? I didn't, I didn't know anything. Pop test? So I'm I'm like all of our screens are right next to each other. I'm just like <laughs> out of my periphery. like Yeah, checking scores. So I just like copy the friend's test, and uh, when I'm done, I hand it in. He, he's like, Sterling, can you come up here? I'm here, Sterling. He's like, did you cheat on this test? I'm like, no. <laughs> he's like, he's like, I gave a different test to every single student. Oh. <laughs> and yours is exactly like so-and-so over there. Kelsey's. I'm like, uh. No way. He's like, the fine is deep on this one. Oh, my God. But. If you call your daddy right now and tell you, tell, <laughs> he's like, but if you call your daddy right now and tell him what you've done, and if he punishes you at home, I won't give you detention. Hmm. It's kind of cool, I guess. So I was like, whoa, this sounds worse. <laughs> yeah, just give me the detention. Because if I told my dad, like, I'll for sure have to go to Waffle House and like, do this, <laughs> da, da, da. like it's this long, drawn out, like, Waffle House. <laughs> We know in. you're a little too old for spanking, but we might give you one pop. But you get to go to Waffle House. So I chose to call my dad. Okay. But you know how my dad did the surf reports? Yep. <laughs> Shut the front door. I called the surf report. <laughs> <laughs> you called the surf report? So I called the surf report, and at the beginning of every surf report, he goes, he's like, this is Yancey on Pensacola Beach. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I had the phone. I had the phone, like, <sighs> out to him and he's like this is yancey and i tucked it real quick because he wasn't fully paying attention i tucked it real quick and then i like pressed it off and i'm like so dad <laughs> he caught me cheating yeah it's pretty bad and i'm like i know i'm ashamed it's like y'all are probably gonna have to spank me later <laughs> and then Dude, this is great and then, I, and then uh i was like do you want to talk to my dad and he's like and that's fine. And I, but I already, I was already hung up and yeah. like went back down. I was like, Whew. but he Thank gave me a zero. Oh. And that messed my grade up pretty bad. <laughs> what a classic story. <laughs> yeah. Cause every time you call the surf point, Yanty Spencer here on Pinch Cold to Beat. So he heard like Yanty Spencer here. I was like, hey, dad. And it was like, this is Yancey. <laughs> and then I <laughs> cuffed it real quick. Dude, that is genius. Are you an organ donor? I don't think so. I don't think so either. I guess that. What, what do you? What, 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 what do you want to be? My mom talked me out of it. Your mom's an anti-organ donor. <sighs> she's like, well, <laughs> <laughs> she's like, well, donate your organs later. <laughs> what? I'm like, I think they need them right they away. They need them right away. So right now I'm not. I saw a footage of some guy carrying a heart and trip and fall and dropped it. What? It's like this helicopter footage. <laughs> Anyways, we'll move on. <laughs> Dude, when I was in freaking like my first year in middle school. Yeah. It was so scary. Yeah. Because the girls started growing the stuff, you know? Yeah. Features. And they started wearing perfumes and. Yeah. Bed Bath and Beyond <laughs> stuff. And I remember, dude, I remember there was this um, girl that like failed three times. Oh, so no. she was so much larger than me. <laughs> she sat behind me. And I can't remember her name, but. She was like real pretty, but really skanky looking. And she's stupid, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> well, she was, yeah, she was like a, she was like a misfit. 
Ooh. So she's a Vulcan girl. She's a Vulcan girl. <laughs> and um, she scared me so much. She was fully in love with me. And um, <laughs> she'd sit behind me and like rub her pencil against my neck. Ew. And she would say weird stuff. And you know how like random rumors get started and they're fully not real? Yeah. But everyone's like, yeah, she, you know, she failed. She failed sixth grade three times. She smoked <laughs> cigarettes. And then there was this rumor going around that she had sex with a cat. <laughs> <laughs> but what's funny is I fully <coughs> believed, everyone believed it. Yeah. So when we'd see her, we're like, the oh. cat girl. I'm like, oh my gosh. Like, because I didn't know what sex was really. Yeah. So when someone says she's having sex with a cat, I'm thinking like, <laughs> I don't even know what sex is. So my mind is like, Whoa. what is going on here? Like, is she pregnant? Like, <laughs> like, so it freaked me out. Ugh. I would get so nervous around her. I'd have to go to the bathroom. Like, <laughs> and she, she was like, she was so much bigger than me. And, uh, the song, uh, I'm a Barbie girl. And and a Barbie a, that song just came out. Yeah. And that made the boys feel weird. And that made me feel, I'm like that song's kind of awesome, but like, yeah, Barbie, like this is freaking me out a little bit. What are you talking about? <laughs> it like just made your you undress know, when you're me. Your kid, anyway. just like everything's so new. Yeah, you're just like being around tons of girls all of a sudden, <laughs> like, and they're having sex with cats, and <laughs> she smokes cigarettes, and like. <laughs> So she's behind me singing the Barbie song, looking at me. She's like, <laughs> Dude, so that's a core memory for you. <laughs> she was singing it so intensely, like <sighs> looking in my eyes, and I was thinking about the cat. I'm like, ah. <laughs> <laughs> so that was a traumatic season of your life. Yeah, that affected me. <laughs> <laughs> the Barbie girl pencil number two on your neck. And I would be so nervous because I know she was just there. Wait, I mean, licking her chops like. <laughs> I wonder who she is. I wonder if she's still with us. I was so popular in middle school because everyone was still my height. Yeah. <laughs> and I had that beautiful baby face, blonde hair, and tan skin. Like, yeah. girls just were just... Yep. I had so many girls in middle school just like... <laughs> like I went to a they small... They felt like cougars. <laughs> to you? Cause they were... <laughs> <laughs> uh, Cougar energy. What's the difference between dating nowadays? Because I haven't dated in you know 15 years what's the new like what are girls doing these days that is creepy <laughs> <laughs> if they're not having sex with cats anymore yeah what's the new cats no like what is dating like now for like 18 year olds is it all apps because i do you remember when dating apps was weird for people like or dating sites it was like oh they met on a dating app that's weird i think now that they're like they look like instagram it's more acceptable well now yeah now it's totally normal like it it, it would be weird but i think Instagram is the dating app. Really? Yeah. Yeah, because it used to be giving you your phone number. It's like, give me your Instagram. Yeah, well, I'll DM you or whatever. Yeah. It goes down in the DMs. It goes down. <laughs> it goes down in the DMs. It goes down. Because I couldn't imagine being 21 right now and like, like now it's <laughs> just, I don't know, I guess it's Instagram or TikTok. Well, now you don't have to talk to anyone. You just boop, boop. like them. Dude, do you remember like life before phones? Honestly, do you remember? I think I kind of do because I didn't get a phone until I think it was like the ninth grade, but it was one of those little. You had a phone in ninth grade? Ninth or tenth or eleventh, like with the Jeez. little. I didn't get a phone until I was 19. Really? Life before phones was just a lot of reading, <laughs> staring. Dude, traveling before phones was crazy. What? What did it do? Well, I would go on these surf trips and I would just, bye. <laughs> yeah. And my parents are like, well, hear from you maybe yeah in a month right. they gave me like a a calling card i would do uh -oh, call yeah. from yeah uh, pay phones right so i was heading to new york and my friend Devin, he was meeting me there Devin. so we weren't old enough to rent a car we're like you have to be 25 to rent a 16 car. yeah but there is this place in new york that would rent to <laughs> minors illegal minor rentals it was illegal we found <laughs> it like on the internet <laughs> what so we're so I'm like Devin, I've got this like secret car lined up. I was like, dude, <clears throat> we need a map. Mm, yeah, like, print out Google Maps. He's like, dude, don't. My de my friend Devin, he's kind of like a stoner. He's like, dude, don't even worry about it. <laughs> he's like, dude, I got the sickest map. I'll bring it. <laughs> like, <a map. laughs> I'm like, oh cool, like sick. 
So I traveled a lot with my dad and we'd have these in super detailed roadmaps yeah. of the city and uh -huh. whatever. So I we get to New York. <laughs> we get the car somehow. We're 16. So I get in the car and I'm like, dude, Devin, where's that freaking map? And he's like, he's like, dude, this map is so sick. Sick map. He pulls out something like th it has a hard cover on it. <laughs> He pulls this out. It's got a hard cover and he opens it up and it's a world atlas. I'm like, Devin, that's an atlas. Like a. It had a picture of America with like, you press your hand on it, it had mountains. And I'm like, Devin, how are we going to know the roads? <laughs> like, this is a map of Africa and a map of. Right. And he's like, what? <laughs> it said map. <laughs> I'm like, Devin! So you guys were just driving around? We're d driving around with no phones, but trying to find... <laughs> Dude, back in the day, or now, I couldn't get anywhere. You have to have Google Dude, GPS. I had the gnarliest sense of direction when I was a kid. You knew north, south, east, west? Are you addicted to your phone? Because I'll yes. just... I'm, Hands down. I'm so addicted to my I'm phone. I'm so addicted. Do you think the whole world is addicted to their phones? <laughs> Most of it. I'm trying this new thing when I get home from work to just set my phone down for an hour. Well, what's weird is that it feels like I'm not on my phone. When you're on your phone? <laughs> but I'm scrolling at stuff. Dude. I don't even realize it. Ugh. I want to break that habit. How do, is the whole country just on their phone all day, every day? How do people get off them? I don't know. We don't want them to get off them or they won't watch our videos. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, finding the balance with that's really hard because it's, it's the strongest addiction I've ever dealt with. Really? Because I'm not really an addictive kind right. of person. You don't drink alcohol. You don't, not a lot of alcohol, not a lot of. I've never, yeah, I've never struggled with anything, honestly. Like. Addiction. Uh, with it, when it comes to addiction. Right. Um, maybe like trying to hook up with Roxy girls, but that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I'm a, I'm curious of what it, what it's going to be like in 20 years. Like, are people going to realize the bad effects our phones have? I think the phone's messing us up because you can always be dating. 24 7 just flirting on your phone flirting all day <sighs> like but before phones you had to go somewhere to just even see a girl right like so now i think it's hard on relationships we've talked about this it's like things are jiggling <laughs> yeah the second you open your phone you're like <laughs> <laughs> so stay, stay away from the jiggles i just think there's going to be repercussions in the down the road of what's what? happening yeah, it's happening right now. I bet divorce is up because of it. Yeah, dude. People hooking up with old high school sweethearts on Facebook. Right. <laughs> but you know what? Oh. To back, to <laughs> to, to be fair. Yeah. Like, life's so short. Should we just kind of go for it? Get a tree job now and then? <laughs> <laughs> uh, what if everyone just went full skank? If everyone went full and accepted skank? It. We've already talked about this, Sterling. There's too much emotions involved. Then people get jealous. This is the story. But if everyone was like, we're all doing it. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, but then that's like, no one can do it. But what would be the repercussions? The repercussions would be, <laughs> <laughs> I think, murder. M more murder? More murder. More gun shootings? More murder, more murder, more murder, more murder, more murder. Seriously, though, what would be the repercussions? If uh, You're saying in some weird utopian Maybe world. More STDs. Tons more. Look at the 70s, dude. Yeah, they had a great time. Now the medicines are better. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever rubbed sunscreen on a bro's back? Oh, dude, that's one of the hardest things to do. <laughs> oh, when a homie's like, can you put some sunscreen? Well, when you're... <laughs> When I was a young pro surfer, you know, we have yeah. these muscles and we get to the beach. We're like, Man. Yeah, everyone's, everyone's like seeing how cool they could feel. Like, everyone's in tip board, top. Like, yeah. And then one dude that's like, his mom is Irish and his skin's sensitive. It's like, hey, can you put sunscreen on my back? <laughs> his mom's Irish. And I'm like, dude, what sucks <laughs> is you get this lotion on your hand. And then you go surfing and you like start slipping and you're like, you can't push up. And I was like, damn it, Tori, I shouldn't have put that on your back. <laughs> so that was always a bummer when, what, you didn't have the spray? <sighs> oh, don't get me started on the spray. <laughs> that is cancer in the body. Right, right, right. Aerosol cans. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like hairspray for your body. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, that's, dude, I just got a bidet. You did? Yeah. You're a bidet boy now? I got a bidet. Dude. And I'm kind of worried. 
The what? Like You're falling this, in love? <laughs> is this like a gateway drug? Gateway? <laughs> <laughs> a gateway drug? What do you mean? To what? Well, it's a lot of butt tickling. <laughs> <laughs> and you got, and you got to you got to sit there for a bit gotta, to get it all out. Yeah, to fight it. So at some points it's kind of like, man, am I doing this <laughs> for <laughs> business or for pleasure? Cuz it's nice and warm. It's like, ooh. <laughs> Yeah, but then I'm then I'm thinking I'm like, dude, am I being homophobic? Like, oh. like, like, am I being homophobic? Not wanting my butt tickled by warm water. <laughs> 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 well, what's funny? The water, the warm water doesn't work unless I turn the shower on. Too. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you'll run the shower. Well, I have like this super old um, bathroom. Yeah. So the the wires are all crossed up. <laughs> <laughs> so I have to turn on this loud shower. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> and then I turn on the bidet. It's like, <laughs> so it's ghetto. And it goes up like, <laughs> it's like the most ghetto bidet. When ever. you get it just right, you turn the dial. It's like, <laughs> ding, 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 ding. <laughs> like, ah. did you install the bidet? <laughs> yeah, I did. You installed. <laughs> <laughs> it was the hardest thing I've ever done in my whole life. You did something handy? Dude, I don't know. That's That was making me like sus too. Why? Like, why do I want this so bad? I'm like, <laughs> how unwrenching. Like, I'm using tools I've never used in my yeah, whole life. You're at Lowe's. I'm taking hoses out, putting them back in, like sockets. and. Wow, dude. I'm proud of you. I know. <laughs> and I'm like, dude, why do I want this so bad? Interesting. Like, I won't even put like a Lego for my son together. But you'll bidet it. But the bidet, I'm like, God. <laughs> like maps. And <laughs> dropping washers. Kink, kink, kink. <laughs> <laughs> it is a kink. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Do you ever like think about things in life and like, am I the only one that's ever thought about this? Yeah, but then I quickly think I am not the first. I order DoorDash a lot. Yeah. Because I'm lazy. Yeah. And I don't know if there's a lower feeling as a human being than ordering DoorDash. And grabbing it from the porch? Well, like, it's like, not only am I too lazy to go get it, <laughs> yeah. I can't even face this guy. He's you don't like, like you like, don't like to see him. He's like knocking. I'm like, mm -mm, I'm not coming. And I like peek out the window. I'm like, wait for him to leave. <laughs> and like, and then like I peek one more time before I open the door. I'm like, I don't want them to see me. So Why? Then, I don't know. And then I <laughs> open the door and it's like cold. I was like, <laughs> and it's like sitting there. And I like squat down. I'm like, Is anyone watching? Like I look both ways. And then I, it's like I gotta. I gotta go, and I snatch him, like, and like close the door, like, <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> so you feel like a rat or something? I feel, like, <laughs> I feel like a weird rat coming out to eat some cheese. Like, yeah. <laughs> is everything safe, dude? I saw my neighbors the other day get DoorDash McDonald's, and there's like a McDonald's maybe four minutes down the road. I, know, it, I love it. It's crazy. That's how. Like, we'll spend the extra money working just to sit there and have a processed burger stuck in our hand. All right, guys, please subscribe, like, Happy New Year. It's a little late into January, but you can still say it. Belly check. Oh, no, let's do the belly. Oh, wait, I need to weigh myself. New Year's belly check. It's looking good. I'm 188. He's 188. What's that in centaur? Seven carats. <laughs> Seven carats in centaur weight. Oh, okay. Well, thanks for watching, guys. We love you. Subscribe, like, comment, all the good stuff. I'm going to get in shape this year. Yes, yeah, Sterling. How's it? Thank you for watching Pinch My Salt, the hit podcast of the world's number one surfer, Sterling Spencer. You know the rules. Subscribe and tickle that like button. Pinch My Salt. <laughs> Kelly shooting a tube, he looked me in the eyes And it touched me by surprise, so he touched my inner thigh I said, whoa, this is going fast He said, don't worry about it, we're just two pro bros Trying to get freaking shredded Don't let the wave go by, Kelly I could have been in the tube with you Instead I'm on the beach Laird freaking foiled me too He freaking foiled my whole family Now I'm in trouble
trouble cause Kelly's in the tube He said gonna go home, it's just you and me and some lube I said Kelly no I won't lube your head He said please it's so thin And I said I won't lube your head Kelly cause it's not what I'm here for